going to show you is shocking. And Christy, I, I would ask you if you, I don't know if you got your glasses. I have. <laughs> I can see. I have Nora's. It says mm -hmm. cream of spinach soup mm -hmm. in a. Um, uh, well, an interesting mix. I don't quite know what it's a recipe mix. Yeah. You, you mix it in with various things, and it sounds so delicious. Would you read what is down there? Some of the that? ingredients? Yeah. All right. Wheat well, flour. Halfway, yeah. All right. Da -da -da -da. Hydronated soybean That's oil. It. Hydronated. All right. Mal Maltodoxetrin. Right. Chicken fat. Monosodium glutamine. Now, you stop right there. What is that? Monosodium, monosodium glutamine. Glutamine? M Glutamate. MSG. Oh. That's what that is. Now, that's uh, one type of okay. soup. Here's another type of soup, tomato and basil. It just sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. You can mix chickens and stuff with it. And uh, if you look at the label, it also has... Monosodium? You guessed it. <laughs> I'll just say MSG. I can't say the and whole monosoda. What is it? Monosodium? Monosodium glutamate. MSG. This one really gets me because I don't have any of these in my cabinet. But I do have that. Well, this is reduced sodium. It says, you know, the sodium of, in soup, one serving is about 870 milligrams. Yeah. But would you kindly read that one? I'm that scared. Is, that is Campbell's. All right. Well, okay, we have salt, salt. It's funny because it's all reduced salt. Uh, yeast extract, posodium chloride, um, monosodium glutamate. Campbell's, you give this to MSG. your kids. They, they advertise it for children. It's got MSG in well, it. Well, you know, what gets me, Pat, is when well, I think of MSG, I instantly think of Chinese food. So if I stay away right. from Chinese food, then I'm safe from MSG. Well, I'll show you that, what it looks in its purest form. This has been sold since about 1909. Mm -hmm. Ajinom, whatever, it's Japanese. <laughs> what is it? It's, 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 get a close-up. It's monosodium glutamate, and, you, and, and it, it says what you're supposed to do with it, where, where you're supposed to use it. You see, all those things you're supposed to well, put Well, it's in, in Chinese. I can't read it. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were in Chinese. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but it's for soups. It's for chicken. Mm -hmm. It's for various uh, sauces. Oh, and awesome. many restaurants put this stuff in. Now, when you were pregnant with your child, yes. did you take eat a lot of this soup? Well, I can't say yes or no because I don't remember, but I'm thinking I did have, <laughs> I don't remember, which is, which is maybe I did have the soup. But I'm serious, you know, this is really, really scary, and we do not understand the impact of MSG. From birth, From a birth. child in the womb, if the, mercy, if the mother, pregnant mother, mm -hmm. has a lot of MSG food, eats Chinese, needs this other stuff, that child will have permanent impairment of the brain according to some of these studies and will grow up like 10 years old stupid not to mention mm. fat mm. well the federal government is supposed mm. to warn us about potentially dangerous food additives but monosodium glutamate doesn't come with a warning label even though it could lead to migraines memory loss alzheimer's and what i was talking about birth defects add etc in part two of our series on MSG, Galen Tethero looks at how this flavor booster could be damaging your brain. Your diet could be your brain's biggest enemy. Why? Consider this. Could the yogurt Granny eats send her prematurely into Alzheimer's? Could your baby's diet be putting the child on a path toward attention deficit disorder? Or could your daily soup slam you with migraines? Dr. Russell Blaylock says all those outcomes are possible because of the flavor enhancer known as MSG. All of those afflictions happen to lab animals that consume monosodium glutamate, and humans are much more sensitive, especially when consuming it over a lifetime. Instead of just giving a few doses early in life, we give it throughout the entire life of the animal. When we do that, we see dramatic damage to that animal's brain, not just to the, the obesity centers, but to centers that control memory, learning, uh, social interaction, social control. And pain. Terry Strauss was about 10 when the headaches began. I started having severe migraine headaches. Um, the pain was just unbearable. There were many, many days I would come home from school, nauseous, uh, sick. Um, I would go straight to bed and just stay there until the next morning. That trauma continued through his teen years, with doctors suggesting he'd grow out of it. He didn't. Eventually, they put him on a drug. He could work, but it was far from a normal life. Things began to change when he saw a news program on MSG causing migraines. 
He began avoiding anything he knew might contain MSG. I noticed within a month that, that the headaches had, had subsided, that they, they were not there, they were not as severe when I did get them later. And um, My wife was, was amazed. She said, you were right. She said, we need to continue this. Headache specialist Dr. David Buchholz is certain MSG causes migraines for literally millions of people. That's exactly right. It's yeah. an excitotoxin and it turns on this headache me mechanism and makes you hurt like heck. An excitotoxin is any substance that overexcites cells to the point of damage, acting as a toxin. And there may be more to this public poison. MSG can directly worsen autism, attention deficit disorder, and hyperactivity. MSG can cause the brain to be miswired, especially in the womb in the first few years of life. That damage to brain connections can mess up nearly any aspect of brain function, from the control of hormones to behavior and intelligence.